Hi guys! This is a PIR or passive infrared sensor. It allows you to sense motion. All objects with a temperature above absolute zero emit heat energy in the form of infrared radiation, including human bodies. The hotter an object is, the more radiation it emits. PIR sensor is specially designed to detect such levels of infrared radiation. It basically consists of two main parts, a pyroelectric sensor and a special lens called Fresnel lens, which focuses the infrared signals onto the pyroelectric sensor. A few components on the PCB of the PIR are of importance. There's a 3-pin connection at the bottom. One pin is power, another is signal and the final one is ground. Supply voltage is 5 to 20 volts. There are two orange potentiometers on the board to adjust a couple of parameters. First one is sensitivity, which can be set from 3 meters to 7 meters. The second one is delay time, which sets how long the output will remain high after detection. At minimum it is 3 seconds, at maximum it is 300 seconds or 5 minutes. Clockwise rotation will lengthen the delay. Finally the board has a jumper. It has two settings, H for retriggering and L for non-retriggering. Retriggering means that the PIR sensor will continue to output a high signal as long as it continues to detect movement. In the non-retriggering position, the output will stay high for the period set by the time potentiometer. Let's test this PIR. I connected the PIR VCC pin to the 5 volts on the Arduino. The PIR output pin is connected to the digital pin 2 on the Arduino. Finally, the PIR ground is connected to the ground on the Arduino. When the PIR detects motion, the output pin will go high to 3.3 volts and light up the LED. The longest pin of the LED or anode is connected to the resistor. The resistor is 220 ohms. The other end of the resistor is connected to the digital pin 4 on the Arduino. The short leg or cathode of the LED is connected to the ground on the Arduino. I included some detailed information on HCSR501 from its datasheet in the code commands. You can download this code from the GitHub link in the description below the video. I am using digital pin 4 for the LED and digital pin 2 to track the signal of the PIR sensor. If the signal from the PIR sensor is high, that means that the movement was detected. LED will light up and if there was a change in the PIR state, a message will be printed out. I included the elapsed time since the program started as well, to keep track of the initial minute warm-up time for the sensor. A message will be printed out if there was a change of PIR state from high to low as well. Let's run this code and see how it works. Once started, wait 30 to 60 seconds for the PIR to stabilize. Place your setup in such a way that there will be no motion and wait until the LED remains off. Once the LED remains off, you can move your hand in front of the little dome and see the LED go on and off. I will set the jumper to non-retriggering. The sensor will remain on for a little bit after it detects motion. This time is dependent on the delayed time potentiometer settings. I have set mine to a minimum which is 3 seconds. Now let's set the jumper to retriggering. You can see the light now stays on longer, for as long as it can detect any motion.
Since infrared energy is present and can be detected regardless of the amount of light in the environment, a PIR motion sensor will work just fine in the dark. If you want the PIR sensor to only trigger at night, there is an extra solder pad labeled RL. By adding a photoresistor, the PIR sensor will only operate in darkness. The other solder pad, labeled RT, is meant for a thermistor. Adding this allows the PIR sensor to be used in extreme temperatures and increases the accuracy of the detector to some degree. Thanks for watching, hope this helps and good luck with your build.